Guys, we just reached an awesome milestone and I congratulate you because it's completely your fault. How's it going fellow photo files? My name is Ilya and welcome to the weekly Wednesday vlog. This is video number 50 from the time we started this whole new concentrated themed vlog. 50 videos, that is almost exactly a full year of vlogging, like short of two videos. And surprisingly enough, I haven't missed a single Wednesday. And I feel it's kind of time to change something up. I'm not sure what it is yet. Maybe for starters, get rid of the photo file thing in the intro. It's questionable. One of my friends suggested that I update the vlog intro, which is a good point because it's been around for a year and it's not particularly trendy or modern. So I guess we'll see but I know that one chapter is over and we're flipping a new page and I'm really excited to see what's coming soon. Coincidentally we just hit 4,000 watch hours on YouTube which as some of you do know means that I'm eligible for the YouTube monetization program. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. But the big question in my head is should I monetize my channel? I see a lot of other young YouTubers who are prioritizing their subscription numbers or when they're able to monetize their channel but the reality is none of those goals are really going to change anything for that channel. Having 1000 or more subscribers isn't going to guarantee good engagement or retention and being monetized doesn't automatically mean that you're going to make earnings. I'm not going to hide the fact like most YouTubers I do I want YouTube to be a significant part of my income in the future, but that depends solely on view counts and neither subscribers or the ability to monetize directly affects that. And don't forget that for most channels, ad revenue is only a fraction of their monetization strategy. So maybe my course of action should be creating a piece of merch that I can sell or perhaps advertising my Patreon more. Neither of which would negatively affect my channel like ad placement would. Wait, what? Monetization destroys my channel? I'll get to that in a second. Firstly, observing other YouTubers who have applied for monetization. They send in their application and YouTube replies with like, hey, we have a long line of applications and we're not so sure and we have to observe your channel for a long amount of time. So keep posting videos and we'll get back to you. So it's really slow. It's absolutely not guaranteed. So you're, you're pretty much just wasting time. The other thing is that about half of my watch time come from like three or four popular videos, which means that there's a chance that when we get to the date when I posted them and get, they got this huge view spike, when we get there, the numbers will drop below for thousand watch hours and I'm wondering what happens then I'm not sure I want to risk it and most importantly placing ads throughout your video statistically lowers the engagement which means I will damage my channel while probably not getting anything in return because your ad revenue from so little views at that point is like one cent two cents or something like that so if you're thinking about monetizing your channel right now or have that set as your primary goal think again. Not only will you probably not benefit from monetization in an early stage, you might even damage your channel. Think about focusing on other techniques and methods which may be more effective for you. I hope I didn't discourage any of you guys who are working hard on your YouTube goals. I just think that whole monetization and earning from YouTube is such a romanticized aspect that sometimes we don't see the drawbacks on the other side of the scale. Overall, I hope that was a useful piece of information for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and as always, I'm going to see you guys next week. I have to come up with what I'm going to be doing in my next vlog series. Also, I made this three-piece collage for my mom. Hope she likes it.